It's all right. Nice contact. Nice contact. What's going on you guys? I'm Amir and you're watching the Sportastic Kid. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. I'm truly blessed. I just got this in. High and tight. It's a football that leaves fumbles in the past. They use this football to practice in college and the NFL. Any ball carriers out there, it's your job to protect the ball. With this football right here, it's gonna help you do it. When you hold this football just right, it beeps. Letting you know you got a high and tight. That sounds kind of crazy, huh? I'ma show you. You hear that noise? That means it's high and tight close to my body. With this football right here, it teaches you how to place your fingers. Hold the ball tight, compress it, and make sure you're the only one to have it. The inventor of this football, Tom Crager, he sent this to me. This is crazy. NFL players work out with this, and now I have it. So look, I've been practicing with this football all week. So we're gonna take my skills to the football field and see how I do. Hey, so now we just got to the field and now we're about to do some basic drills to see if I can hold the football high and tight while doing some good drills. Y'all ready? So what's going on guys? You know, this is not a video without Coach Ben, you know what I'm saying? We just got to the field, I'm gonna put him through the test. Give him some basic drills, see if he can do it. You know what I'm saying? Can he hold the ball high and tight while doing a couple hurdles or, you know, touch some cones, something like that. Uh, it's quarantine time. You want these footballs? You can walk around and do this all day. All right, man. So first up, dog, we finna do some hurdles, man. But I'm gonna need you to change into them cleats, though, man. So we are gonna try this, or whatever. The hurdles first. Can you make your beat? Let's see. High tight. All right, good job. Good job. Good job. But well, we are gonna start on that side because you know the sun's kind of harsh. And the yeah, whatever. You know. All right, let's see what we got. And go. That was pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. For the first time at least, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did hear it going in and out, but that's cool though, because you're learning, you know what I'm saying? You're learning, no more no more fumbles, man, no more fumbles. Speaking of fumbles, hey guys, that was this one game, Amir's first year playing tackle football. We were going against our rivals, okay? First year in the program, uh, first time going against these rivals or whatever, and it was a close game. Came out to the fourth quarter, to the fourth quarter, and I think we were down one touchdown. It was like 7 to 13 or something like that or something. And anyway, so we're like second in something. We're like six seconds on the clock. Amir gets the ball jet sweep to the outside. And I guess like two people get on him and he just fumbled the ball. Okay. But luckily, man, what was his name here? Um, his name was Felix. Shout out to Felix. Felix picked up the ball and ran for like 63-yard touchdown because Amir fumbled. We Hold him, Jack! Hold him, Jack! Good job, Jack! Come on, Could have lost that game, but we didn't, man. So a uh, shout out to Felix, man. But yeah, that was something. We're gonna be out here trying to get better so there's no more fumbles because if you can do this with this football high and tight once you get your own football your regular football it'll be no problem okay he's trying to learn how to be able to do these things and knock them out no problem so first you gotta you gotta show them guys show the guys everybody out here what's the proper way to place your fingers you want to make the x right yes so you see this x that's that. not the x well there there's the x there's the x okay boom so you want to have that x right because you want to have more, you know, your hand to cover the surface. You don't want to have your finger, you know, on the tip of the ball because then all that's left open. You don't want to have more fingers on this side because now you have less on that one. 
you wanna make sure you have that X right there, okay? More surface. And you wanna, if as much as possible, you wanna make sure you have a flat wrist, okay? Squeezing that elbow and have this pointed to your chest and high and tight. And once you do that, the ball has sensors. It will make a beeping sound. Just like that. You know, you wanna stay low, but keep it high and tight. It's on you whenever you get ready. See, it's harder than it looks. It's harder than it looks. All right, okay. It's tight, it's tight. It took me a minute, but I got it. This is not gonna come overnight. Luckily for him, he's in the house, he's quarantined. So he's got all day, all night to be squeezing that thing. And just, listen, listen, he does. He gets on my nerves, watch this. I know all y'all ball carriers want to get better. What's high and tight? It lets me know I'm getting better. Be a dog, get your grip right. When you look up this football in the descriptions below, type in key and 10 and they gonna hook you up. Now this drill we're finna do, I actually saw on uh, Coach Tom Frazier's YouTube channel, which we will put the links in the description below. Basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna jog to these cones, right? And then explode out of it, like a jump cut almost, to the right, and then keep going. Jump cut, keep it tight. Oh, you gotta keep some pressure on that thing. See, it's, it's vulnerable when you do that jump cut and then now you lose your grip. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be perfect, but we're out here trying. We're out here trying. Whenever you get ready, hold it tight. You know you wanna stay low too. Jump cut, there we go. Oh, but at least you're understanding how you have to hold it tight throughout the whole drill. Not the whole jump cut. You don't want to do the jump cut. Ooh, and then somebody put their hand in there and strip the ball, do you? No. All right, then. All right, same thing, just the other way. All right, all right, all right. Want to hold that thing? You know I mean? Normally, you will switch the ball, but right now, we're not trying that. You want to make sure you keep it high and tight throughout the whole process. All right, let's do a box drill. Just, uh, you know, going around the box, but trying to hold it tight throughout the whole thing, you know, the whole way you go. That's actually good, man, because you're keeping contact and all five sensors that's in the football, they're being contacted. You are applying pressure, literally. Ball care, you gotta hold that thing tight, man. Keeping no fumbles. Here we go. Keep contact on it. Good job. Listen, we are very thankful to have this opportunity to be able to practice with this. Um, like I said, a few NFL teams that I know off my head that actually use this are what the Ravens, the Colts, um, the Redskins, the Cowgirls, I mean the Cowboys. Uh, what about some colleges? Colleges, uh, Clemson uses it. Uh, I think Miami have used it. This football is actually what your favorite pros are practicing with. Ball control. We've always said high and tight. You know, everybody says, keep the ball high and tight. But actually, is it enough? We don't know. You hear that sound, then you know. I know all y'all ball carriers want to get better. What's high and tight? It lets me know I'm getting better. Be a dog, get your grip right. When you look up this football in the descriptions below, type in key and 10 and they gonna hook you up. Can you keep contact the whole way through this drill? We're gonna see. And the ball never lies. Did you hear yourself getting better? Yes. Time to bust out the big gun. All right, so you know Mir's got that footwork, but I want to see can he get the footwork and have the ball secured at all times, even with this. Whenever you're ready. Now we did all that with the ball compressed high and tight. That's pretty good. That's really good. For our first time, that's definitely really good. See that thing? I know I could do it too. Oh. Boy, I mean, you might be my son, but I ain't taught you everything. <laughs> this is definitely the easiest thing I can practice with. So yeah. For the people that can't get outside, um, this is actually a great tool. Definitely a great tool. 
How are you getting better right now? Are you, when the quarantine lock is over with, are you gonna be that team that gasped? Or are you, are you gonna be that player that can't put no work in? You ain't put no, are you gonna be that player who ain't been putting work? It could be push-ups, something small. Um, I don't know, if you got a football, throwing it up in the air and just catching it. But this right here works on your ball, help you secure it all day. And when you take this, like I said earlier, and you switch it over to a regular football game, you is eliminate. You are eliminating mostly all, mostly all. One thing, you get this ball, you can annoy your parents too. Don't be like this guy. <laughs> So, I mean, what are y'all guys doing right now? It's quarantine. How are you guys getting better? Let us know. Let us know, man. You can DM us. Drop it down in the comments on any of our videos. We check all the videos. Um, we know it's spring break for us coming up next week. You know, uh, happy Easter. Hopefully this comes out tomorrow. So, happy Easter. Happy Easter. You know, to everybody out there. Uh, we are in challenging times right now. But it's natural for everybody to be able to pick this stuff up. Everybody falls, okay? But as a community, as a football team, as a whole country, you know what I'm saying? We, we always pick ourselves up, definitely. So thank you guys for watching Sports as the Kid, man. It, and it gives you an opportunity to work out in your house or in your garage, wherever you can. Just work out, get bigger, or get stronger. Definitely, definitely. Um, stay, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe. Yeah, definitely stay safe out there, man. Uh, Definitely say so. Hold on, man. Think I'm gonna die. You know, we will be practicing this thing more often. Like Amir said earlier, there is a promo code. We go on the website to find it, Keaton 10. It will be there. They will hook you up. They know the sports as a kid since you type in Keaton 10. Definitely, man. Um, but for NFL players to have this, college players to have this, and us to have a chance, you know, to work out with this, this is awesome. The sports as a kid signing out. Peace.